Okay, doke. Second topic on uh, technological change and economic growth. So what actually is economic growth? So global product or GDP for a country, global product for the whole world is the value of everything produced globally in constant dollars, which means after correcting for inflation. So global economic growth is growth in the total value of everything produced globally. But what do we mean by value? How is that measured? Well, it's basically, uh, in principle, pretty simple. If we thinking, if we take it per capita, by by uh, um, per person, so to speak, initially, and we think on a given day or in a given year, what does the average person in an economy or even globally consume? Okay, and they might consume some food, some more food. They might have a car which they drive around, they might buy a computer, they might take a plane journey, they live in a house which they use. Okay, so they're getting all these produced goods. So on the average day, what's the value of what they're consuming? Well, how do we measure that? <laughs> it's basically what people are willing to pay for that basket. But then you can say, well, what about inflation? You know money changes value how do we know if that value is growing what well, in principle what we do is we compare the typical basket for a person in like last year 2022 and say what are you willing to pay for that basket compared to what you're willing to pay for this year's basket and if we're willing to pay more if we're willing to pay like a hundred bucks for last year's basket on 102 for this year's basket then there's been 2% growth okay and if the baskets cost if the actual cost at the shops so to speak is 100 and 104 that means that there's also been 2% inflation <laughs> okay but when we compare the baskets at any same point in time and say, what are you willing to pay for this one? What are you willing to pay for this one? That difference is the growth rate. Yeah. Okay. So that's how we measure value in economics. It's what people are willing to pay for the goods and services they're getting that are being produced in the economy. So GDP, gross domestic products, that's everything produced in the economy domestically, that's within the country. Okie doke. So that's how it's measured. That's basically what it is. But what does growth consist of? What actually happens when economies grow? Well, it's not that we produce more and more of the same stuff. Okay. Sure, we do produce more of some things, but that's not the fundamental thing that happens when economies grow. It's more that we consume different things, higher quality things, stuff that we're more willing to pay for than last year's stuff. Okay. It might be more a bigger physical quantity. It might not. Okay. And generally early on when we're very poor or when we have very low incomes, we spend most of our income on things like food and shelter. Um, as we get richer, we start spending our income on all sorts of other things, right? Okay. But does everything we produce get consumed? <laughs> Definitely not. Some of it gets invested in capital. Okay. So this is a picture of a very simple economy with households who send off workers to the production arena and what is produced can go in one of two directions it can be consumed or it can be invested and what's invested goes into the capital stock which is then used to produce 
more stuff. Okay, so GDP is the sum of the value of these things. Okay, it's the whole basket of what's produced. So it's not just consumer goods. And note that the goods change over time. So we're talking about reality here. Over time, so this is a very simple economy. We're basically producing food and some tools. But over time, the range of goods changes. The range of investment goods also changes. What about natural resources and pollution? Well, we can add those into the picture as well, of course. Everything is ultimately, of course, depending on the earth that we live on. So that's why I've drawn this sort of circle around everything. And we pull in natural resources into the production arena, which we do using labor and capital. So we use labor and capital in the production arena. We also use it out in the field, so to speak, in the mines and on the fields, growing food and so on. And that may deplete natural resource stocks. It may also, when we use them, it may lead to polluting emissions, both in the production arena and from homes. So this is just to give you a rough idea of how we can analyze these kinds of things. And we should throw in food as well, which is obviously an important good. And also the production of food has very big effects on the environment, obviously. So take home message two, economic growth is not just more of the same, it's higher value production per year. So there's no necessary link between economic growth and physical production or resource use. But, hmm, I should have shown you the data on that. I guess it's coming. <laughs> there's no necessary link between economic growth and physical production or resource use. But when we look at the historical data, we do see that they tend to follow each other. Okay, so as the global economy has grown, resource extraction, en primary energy use, and so on, have tended to grow at the same rate. Okay, so even though there's no necessary link between growth and production and resource use, historically, more or less up to now, they do seem to have been linked. Well, they have been linked. And why that is and what we can do about it is one of the things we'll talk about through the course. Okie doke, that's the end of the second video.